Welcome to Horror Movies and Beyond. Today, I'm joined by the star of this action-packed wrestling feud horror comedy called Here for Blood. Let's welcome Sean Roberts. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I was like having such a good time watching it. I really did. It was action, nonstop head butting, elbows, choke holes, body slams, and super suplexes. It brought back memories because I was a huge wrestling fan in the mid and early 90s. All right. <laughs> um, so the training must have had to been brutal because was that all you? Was there any stunt doubles or was that you getting smacked around and holding the guy up and everything? That was that was me. Um, that was one of the things like from day one. I said, well, you know, you're going to have a hard time trying to get a stunt double to match my build. Um, so if if you guys are into it, I would love the opportunity to do it myself. I have all the pads and frankly, this is why I got into the business. So it was uh, it was good. I mean, there aren't too many actors that have the muscularity that I currently carry. Um, so it played well for the, the role. I didn't have to put any weight on for the, the role. Um, and as far as training goes, uh, we got to go out to uh, Tyson Ducks's um, training camp just outside of London there, and he's uh, a notable wrestler here in Canada. Um, and he's actually the guy who I did the uh, the wrestling at the start of the movie with. Um, it, yeah, it sure made it a lot easier because that was my first sort of foray into the, uh, the wrestling world. And I wouldn't have been able to be half as good if I didn't have him there telling me, okay, what's next? Okay, how do we do that? Okay, good. <laughs> He really helped me on that one. So we got lucky and uh, it was apparently really well received. Um, our our background performers on the day were convinced that we were both wrestlers. So I was like, okay, success. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, it, it did look real. Like it did look, well, well you know, me going to the wrestling matches. Um, oh my God, Mr. Perfect and uh, Razor Ramon and all those stuff like I was there so when I was watching this I was like oh my gosh I remember the screams and the shouts and the hollers so I knew like this film is going to be so much fun you play Tom obviously he's this you know rowdy wrestler but what I really liked about your character actually loved is that you they didn't play you as this just this rough guy you know we saw you in the rough arena but then going home to Phoebe it was we knew you were caring, you were doing what you had to do to, um, you know, try to make a living and stuff like that. And I think that was well established because the situation of you having to babysit, you know, Grace for her really showed how your character is this heartwarming person. So I, I really love how they did that. You weren't just like this mean guy, you know. <laughs> so Relatable. Think, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. You really did have a heart gold you know, during the whole film and, but you were smart and witty. So is that part of your real personality? <laughs> it didn't uh, seem like acting. <laughs> uh, this is, that's just a testament to James Roberts, our writer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I got a couple of pages into the script and it felt like my own words that I was reading. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it was, uh, it was really nice to feel like it was a good fit. You know, sometimes you read stuff and you're sort of playing with the words in a way to make it feel natural. And that was never the case with this. This was my own words right from the get go. And to be able to have those badass one liners here or there, and you just <laughs> smile while I'm reading the script, like, oh, perfect, fun. Um, yeah, it, it's nice to, again, you get to be the action hero, but you know, you're still a real person who cares about other people. You know, let's not forget that. And uh, yeah, it was, it's just, it's a great script. That's, that's what I back to. Like it's there on paper. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That makes it so clear. So um, that also goes to this quote I seen on IMDb. So I, I'm not sure, hopefully it was directly from you, but it, it was under your name. It really stuck to me. It says that uh, you worked with many different people in the stages of your career and different success levels. And one, one thing you've noticed that the guys at the top, they seem so relaxed and calm. And it's about not having anything to prove, but except during, you know, doing good work. And I think that reflect your character, even though he was just doing the best that he can 
and trying to do the best work he can to you know take care of her and you could kind of see that as he's trying to sit in a chair and try to talk to her and try, you know they're trying to develop a relationship to the point that she was comfortable um but also it's like okay i'm not good i i feel like you know this is all the best i could do and then during the whole fight scenes and trying to save them and things like that and you really see the development of the character and it shows the audience who you really were not just this big guy that just could fight and i i thought that was some you know definitely when i read that i was like oh that's exactly how the character <laughs> really is so i was like i really love this character <laughs> so I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate it. You were paying attention and I, <laughs> thank you so much. Did you meet D. Snyder at any point? Because him as the screen skull. <laughs> was, feed me! I was like, somebody feed this guy. <laughs> right. Um, no, it would have been certainly uh, a, a huge novelty to have him on set to, to deliver those lines from the skull. But that decision was made uh, post-production. And it was a, a surprise because I think the soundtrack in the movie certainly uh, is is better because of his influence, uh, his music, and you know to have an iconic voice like that. Like I don't know how much we paid, but it probably wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> I cause that was funny alone. I mean, like when you walked up there, hey, there's a skull up there, and then you you did not expect that. So when you were on set, did they have someone scream it out like? To, it, oh, they did? How hard was it not to laugh? Like, to be serious? Our, uh, our production designer hiding under the table, working the, the mouth and doing the voice. And you're like, okay, I don't know, but it, are we gonna, it's gonna be something else, I promise you. Okay, perfect, good, because, <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever. Um, there was another thing, I, it, it, strict, it came straight from the movie, which I just thought it was so funny. And it's just this one little line, I swear. Um, it was like when you were like, when everything was going crazy, um, you said, you you asked Grace, <laughs> does she have, does her parents have a phone? He was like, you know, the phone in the house, you know, um, the one with that, you know, a phone line. And she was like, there's phones with wires. <laughs> I was like. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I felt yeah. so old. And that's just it. You're like, oh man. Yeah. I guess you've never seen the phone of the wires. And that's true, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, Was bye -bye. this like, <laughs> yeah. Was this like, the film felt like it was very fun. Everyone got along and just had this good time. Was it even, it, it has some influence of the eighties and nineties. Did it just like bring like a moment of, from those really serious roles that you were in like this one, you can relax and just have a good time and blood everywhere. And just like be yourself. Cause it, it felt like you were yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and that's, that's the sort of one of the things that, you have to make peace with um, as an actor. Like, do you want me to create a false character for people to then um, attach themselves to? Or do you want me to tie in who my essence is into characters so that maybe, you know, that relationship develops with my persona? Um, and it's always obviously easier to sort of draw on your own reactions. Um, but you know it's in the script and i'm not one of those actors who likes to show up on set and well i have an idea about this and i wrote a whole backstory <laughs> on the, well fuck, i don't know what difference that makes but it doesn't so just say the words on the page and do that um and so the, yeah i mean it's 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 james's writing i don't know how he got in my head but he said the things that i would say and uh it was it was just it's nice. I want to go to work every day and laugh. And I want to be able to play with the other actors. And they were all ready and willing to do that. And I think that's, you know, that makes the difference between uh, just getting something done and having a decent product when you're done is mm -hmm. the, the will of people to, to go all the way. And, you know, I mean, we're talking about low budget film production. So it's if it's not passion, you're not going to be there. Right. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah, uh, the, the success of the movie is 100% a testament to the casting that was done. 
because I don't think a different group could have pulled it off. Throughout, you were doing some of those wrestling moves, like especially I think uh, it was her boyfriend. <laughs> I, I I I just lost it because they would cut to you and you were still doing the elbow drops. <laughs> Did and it was so many, but it's like they cut to you back. You're still like ah. <laughs> Um, did they just say keep going until they, you know, yelled cut, or you was just like, you know what? I'm just keep going just for fun. And they're just everybody's just like, how far is he gonna go? I just thought it was like the most it, it was like ridiculous, but it was it was funny because it also showed that you were a wrestler and that you were making sure he was dead and gone and he, there was nothing left. <laughs> Stay down this time, damn it. <laughs> it was one of those things where until he yells cut, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get up and do it again. I'm like, oh my goodness, how many times are we going to do this? Luckily, I think we only did that that chunk of the scene three times maybe. So I only bashed that skull like probably a hundred times. But nonetheless, you're just like, that was a long take. <laughs> I, hope, I hope there's so, something in there you guys can use. But So, so he didn't even yet, yet say it cut. He was just, you just kept doing the same thing. <laughs> going like all right that's got to be enough right well i guess okay fine good we got it i think the director was enjoying it more than probably you know, he was like <laughs> did um any of those moves that you were doing um did you did you get hurt at all one of the guys hit you you kind of rolled over in the bar and i was like wait uh, that looks painful <laughs> <laughs> um i think you know, A, I am a physical person, so this is sort of you know, the things that I want to be doing. Um, and I'm padded up, and the, realistically, we go around the set and we look for the sharp corners, and oh my goodness, there's a thumbtack, let's get rid of that kind of a thing. <laughs> uh, but as far as, you know, the, the big fight scene, the big action at the end, unfortunately, that happened on probably one of the coldest days of us filming. So he's out there shirtless. I'm in this t-shirt and it's like, see your breath kind of cold. So the body tightens up and we have this big back and forth and body's cold. And um, so that was, it was tough because the body didn't want to move. So it was stiff, but you know, you make through it and you want to be an action star. This is part of it. So go and do the tough things. Um, but as far as injuries, I didn't get injured. I don't think, and I don't think else did either so let's not have them come back and say <laughs> no i think we got a uh, unscathed throughout the whole thing so oh, got lucky okay. Okay. Yeah. well i'm very excited for this film i watched it twice i had a good time for both uh both times uh one just sitting relaxed and the other one i was taking notes and believe me i have so many questions but it's like i know we have uh you know uh, just a small amount of time but for the most part, I love the wrestling moves. I love your character. I love the wittiness, the charisma, um, the smartness of the character. Um, and it just it was just a lot of fun and people are going to appreciate this when it comes out. Um, and, it, and plus, I also looked it up and it won like six awards. It is really good. It is fun. It reminded me of like if Roddy Roddy Piper back in the day, like it had that like, like that wittiness and feel of it. And it was it was just a great nostalgic feeling all the way around. And you were great in it, of course. <laughs> Couldn't thank you enough for those kind words. That's uh, <laughs> like the most validating thing an actor can hear. So amazing. <laughs> I can't and, thank you enough. And also, <laughs> um, I'm a little starstruck. I do a, a lot of interviews and there's a reason because as a Resident Evil fan, I play. I watched all the movies. I, I I had to throw it in there. And Resident Evil Five was my favorite game ever. Um, I played it four different times on four different levels. And you, as Whisker, I I'm still like I never thought I would be talking to one of the favorite characters. That uh, that makes my good. <laughs> I'm well, so. You you were great. You were like I rewatched it. Like I, I rewatched the the scenes you were in, and I mean, just this film fell in my lap, and I and I was like, Sean Roberts, <laughs> and here we are. And thank you, thank you, stars. You know how much I love <laughs> Resident Evil, and it just 
half it. So I wanted to make sure you knew that you did a great job as that character. <laughs> well, that, thank you. That's uh... and, and as Tom. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, you. you're welcome. Here uh, for Blood hits theaters uh, digitally and on Screenbox February 9th. Everybody, please check this film out. You're going to have a great time. Believe me, it's going to be fun. It's going to be witty. It's, it, I mean, surprises, a lot of blood, <laughs> but it was well worth it. Thank you so much for your time, Tom. <laughs> like I mean, Tom, I mean, <laughs> Sean, thank Tom, you for your time. <laughs> I almost called you Wesker. <laughs> hey, perfect. I'll take that. Uh, well, I appreciate it. I hope we get to do this again in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks again for all your support. It really, it makes the difference. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're right. so welcome. Oh my gosh. I I, I, I got a fan, little fangirl there for a second. <laughs> and I've interviewed so many people and I'm just like, oh my God. So I just... <laughs> I did stutter there a little bit. So, whoop. Makes my day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and enjoy my other videos on my channel.